why the narcissist mistreats you and how do they feel when you leave but first what's up beautiful people it's your favorite cousin back again i hope y'all having a great day because i am as well now first part why do narcissists mistreat you I'm pretty sure when you first got with the narcissist, any type of relationship it was, when you first got with them, you thought they were everything that you wanted in a person or in a friendship or in a boss, whatever. You thought, you know, but little did you know that they were just mirroring you. Now, let me put this disclaimer out. If you're in a relationship with somebody, or you have a boss, or whatever the case may be. All the things I previously mentioned. If you're in a relationship with these people, and these are great people. These are outstanding people. You know, you can see your future with, or you can see your life with them, or you can build a business with them and all that. And they're everything that you checked off. This does not mean that they are a narcissist. How I categorize it, and how I see it, is if this person is not thinking for themselves. If this person is mirroring everything I'm putting out, you know? If they're mirroring me, if I see that this person is mirroring me, then I start getting a hunch that this person is a narcissist. If I start telling this person no, or if I start having my own thoughts and ideologies about something that doesn't align with this person, and they get angry, that's a red flag that this person is a narcissist. If they're so self-centered and everything is about them, about them, about them, about them, and they don't care about you or your feelings, or you know, they never take into consideration you, everything is about them it leads me to believe that they are a narcissist it's three things right there right so this is the differentiation point this would is diff, the difference so don't think because you're in a relationship with somebody and they check off all your boxes and it's the best person you could have never met and now you're in the back of your head you're thinking this narcissist no don't do that don't self-sabotage something like that don't do that this probably is a good person for you you know but like i said when you tell them no or a situation doesn't go their way are they cool? Do they let it fly? Or do they get upset and angry and, Arr! you know? You know? Do they care about you? You know, do they think about you? Do they reciprocate with you? You know? Do they have you in mind when they make decisions? Or is it all about them? Is it about the team or about them? But enough anyways on how to identify these people. Back to what I was speaking on in the beginning. Why do they mistreat you? The reason why they mistreat you is because a lot of times they are intimidated by you. They're intimidated, intimidated by your confidence, your kindness, how genuine and real of a person you are. That's really what it is. We can speak about all the other things that they're intimidated by, but really what it narrows down to is how real of a person you are. How real and how sure of yourself you are. That's what they don't like. You could be a nerd. You could be you know, the best person on the basketball court. You could be just a regular Joe Blow. But if you love yourself enough, or, you know, you you have this thing about yourself, these are the people that they're going to target. They're going to mistreat you. Why are they going to mistreat you? Because they can't love themselves. You're a reflection of what they can't stand. How you can look in the mirror, even if you have flaws, even if, you know, you accept your flaws. You may not like them, or you would change them if you could, but you accept them. You live with them, you know? And you can look in the mirror and have no problem looking in the mirror and love yourself. A narcissist can't do that. That's why they mistreat you. It's the resentment that they have from themselves. It's that mirror that flashes back at them that they can't stand. So really, it's just a projection. They're really projecting. So that mistreatment that they're giving you it's really what they want to give themselves, but they can't give themselves that because, number one, they're not going to hurt themselves. They're not going to do that. And number two, they'd rather bring you down to their level. Now, you have to be careful. A lot of narcissists, they have different skill techniques on how they go about it. You have covert, you have overt, you know. You have some that'll blatantly just disrespect you or treat you bad in front of everybody and you have some that'll be very very quiet and low-key about it 
You could be in a, uh, you know, people ask, do all narcissists cheat in a relationship? I'm going to say no. And the reason why is they will triangulate you. The ones that don't cheat will triangulate you. What will happen is it'll be you, them, and another party. The third party could either be a family member or a close friend they might have some kind of relations with or friendship that might have been a little bit more than friends, but they're not going to tell you that. Whatever the case may be. Or it might be somebody else, you know, at the job, whatever. But they'll triangulate you with that third person, that third party. And now, what will happen is, when they triangulate you, you'll go crazy. And how they'll do it is they'll do a solo key to where you can't speak out about it. Or if you speak out about it, you'll look crazy. And the reason why they won't cheat is because if they cheat, it'll make them look bad. That's why they will triangulate you. So then when you speak on it, they'll say, oh, you're insecure. Oh, you're overthinking. You know? Oh, this person's just a friend. And a lot of times, how they triangulate you is the person that they're triangulating you with knows the family, knows their friends. So who do you think they're going to cover up for? Who's going to believe their lies even more? You or them? Keep in mind, you're the oddball out. In this triangle dynamic, you're the oddball now. When they bring another party in, you're the oddball. So now it's two versus one. And these two people have a whole team full of people on the bench rooting them on. Versus you, it's just you. So this is how when people say, oh, all narcissists cheat. No, they don't. Someone will triangulate you to go crazy for you to leave so you look like the bad person. All along, they were intimidated by you. All along, they really loved how you loved yourself and wish they could do that for themselves, but they couldn't. So they bring you down. And this is all for you to either crash out, self-sabotage, or break up with them. Because deep down in their hearts are hearts. They know that you are a real one. They know they love you. Crazy to say, right? Yeah, they do. Sometimes they just love the attention that you give them. Sometimes they love the unconditional love that you give them that nobody ever gave them. But either way, this is how it plays out. Can narcissists change? Honestly, I believe if they go through enough shit in their life and they finally look up and say, I'm tired, then I think they'll change. As long as they don't say that they're tired, they'll never change. They have to be tired. They have to be tired of loss. You know, they have to be tired of not feeling. It's a lot of things that they have to be tired of. But once they get tired, that's when they'll change. Other than that, no. No. Now, why do narcissists treat you bad? Continue on this. We already covered because they're intimidated by you. We already covered, you know, because they're jealous of you. They're jealous how you can love yourself through all your flaws and all. They're jealous of how people love you and appreciate you and, and how genuine you are. And like I said, you don't have to be a super attractive person. You don't have to be, you know, anything outside of the box. You can just be a regular Joe Blow. And they won't like that because of you because you're just being yourself. That's the people that they hate the most. It's people who genuinely just love themselves and people love them for being them. I'm about to wrap this on up because this story's tripping again. But anyways, lastly, the reason why a narcissist hates you and mistreats you, especially when you leave them, is because of that final thing that you just did. You left them. You bruised their ego. See, they have this overinflated sense of ego. They think they're more grand and they're bigger than they're who they are. And you gave them that validation. You love them unconditionally. That was something that nobody has ever really ever done for them. You love them past their flaws. The flaws that they saw, everybody saw, you love them past it. You love them like a normal human being. Even with their if overinflated sense of ego. You loved them. And what happened was, they took control, excuse me, they took advantage of it. They didn't reciprocate, they took advantage. And you got tired of it. You became their punching bag. They lost control of who they were. It's like when Spider-Man became Venom. They're Venom, you know? They lost the sense of who they really were. And they saw you as their property and saw you as just a source of energy. And that was it, just a source of energy. Not a person, not a human being, nothing. And you got tired of it. You didn't want to be their punching bag anymore. And you bruised their ego by leaving. See, in their mind, they think that nobody can leave them. They think that they're the best thing since sliced bread. They think everybody wants to be with them. 
right? They think everybody wants to be with them. Everybody loves them. Da 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 da. And they thought you. They they thought they had you in the bag until you left. And don't leave and give them a piece of your mind and really tell them how they are. They ain't gonna like you no more. On the surface, they may seem cool and all that, but deep down, they hate you. Why? Because you bruised their ego. Why? You really showed them who they were. And now, they have to go find a new supply. And they hate you even more for that. Because now they gotta start all over from ground one. And they gotta retrain somebody to be that Duracell cell battery. Because you just said you ain't having it no more. Anyway, before this cuts off on me again, I'm about to go get me another phone. And I just bought this phone. But I'm about to go get me another phone. Probably a terabyte or something like that, because I ain't letting it stop me no more. Anyway, this is your favorite cousin. Y'all be safe. Love and bless you.